back. Um, haven't done a video on this uh, page in a minute. For some reason, when I get blocked, it lets me do lives on my other page. But that's it. It won't let me comment, like any of that. But on this page, it won't let me make any videos at all. Anyways, I'm back at y'all, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Support the channel because when I see the support, it gives me the energy to go harder. And y'all know how I do it. Ain't no male or female side on this page. We don't do that shit over here. We expose bullshit. We attack bullshit, not males or females. We attack bullshit, not males or females. If you get offended, turn the shit off now. But if you want the truth and the cold hard truth, hey, pay attention. Now, two can play that game. There's so many different levels to this shit that I might not be able to touch it all. But I'm going to try my best. All right. We live in an era where your gender, the one that you like to take up for, that's woman or man, the gender y'all like to keep a code for and keep the womanhood or the malehood for, that gender is a problem because a lot of the shit that you're experiencing with the opposite gender is because of your gender. You know, I just seen a little video on, on uh, social media where a woman just strolls down her shit. Hundreds and hundreds of men on Snapchat. And the quote was, I do this because I'm bored and I don't and I don't have nothing else to do. See, this is a problem because for one, it should not even be possible for a woman to have that many men at her because if men was only dealing with women that they was really trying to be serious with, that wouldn't be possible. So, you know, as men, they gotta be stopped, they got to stop being so damn thirsty. But if you are a man that doesn't want to get played, do not let the um, the behavior of these men cause you to um, be affected by it. In other words, don't stand in line and let her play you like a fucking puppet, you know, because these other guys want to be thirsty and now she's got a big head and thinks she's better than every man on earth and all this other shit. Nah, we don't do that. What we do is, you know, you, you um, give the woman the same energy she's giving you. I don't give a fuck how good she looks. I don't give a fuck how much they say you got you the man you're supposed to pursue. Yeah, you are supposed to pursue, right? But guess what? A woman pursues back too. Make no mistake about it. And, and any woman who says she doesn't, then you just won't have a man. You'll be one of those females who think it's all about me. And therefore, you will not get a ring because you're not putting in any effort at all. Your, your looks are only going to get you the, the fuck boys. The men that have no value for themselves at all. That's why they're okay with it. See, a man that has value and balls, he doesn't give a fuck how good you look. If you are not putting in effort back, he understands his worth. And he understands that there is a woman out there that will put back. And it's not about just sitting back and let a woman do everything. No, 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 no. Us men, we got a job to do. We have to do things for women. We have to show women we like them too. But it's a 50-50. But the problem is a lot of men are so fucking thirsty, right? They're so willing to just do whatever to get sex, man. And, and, and women are letting, and women don't see that. Well, maybe they do see it. Maybe some women just don't care. There's different levels to women and all this, right? But the problem with this thirst for sex is it makes women think they got way more options than what they have. So now you as a man, you're nothing. So that's okay though. I'm not telling y'all to get mad at these women. Or any of that. What I'm telling you to do is ignore them. Any woman that's on games, ignore them. Because a lot of these women are playing games because men are playing games with them. All these girl, girl all these niggas do is got a whole bunch of other women. All men cheat, blah, blah, blah. And you know that's not true as a good man. If you're a good man watching this video, you know damn well that you would love to have a woman that was faithful and you'd be faithful to her. You know what I mean? But they don't believe that exists. Why don't they believe this exists? Because of the so-called other men who just want to sleep around and play around. Do not suffer for them. There's a woman out there. You're just going to have to hold strong and ask God, God, keep these bad women away from me and, and uh, 
make way for the good woman. Make make me be prepared so I can receive that good woman too. You're going to have to go to God, man, because you're fighting a whole bunch of devils. Or should I say this? You're fighting in a world or a so-called dating world that's ran by Satan. Period. Satan wants people to keep hurting people and keep sleeping with everybody. God wants people to love and build families and not be sleeping around with everybody. So the only way you're going to win is through God. There is no other way, y'all. I'm not trying to preach either. I'm not saying you got to go to church and all this and all that. I just believe this. If your intentions are good and you're on the good side of God, you're good. But if you want to start playing the game and start doing devilish, evil-ass deeds, you're going to pay too. That's just like, that's the same thing for y'all women too. Oh, he want to cheat? Well, I'll cheat better. Well, go ahead. Now you're building your own karma. Instead of leaving the motherfucker alone, you want to cheat too. Why? Why do you want to stoop to your level? Now you got a problem with God. Why? You could have just let God deal with him. But no. You think you can, you think you can get your vengeance on him worse than God can. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. You ain't got to do nothing. If a man done you wrong, you ain't got to do nothing but leave and let God deal with it. And you will see what happens. But nah, we can't do that, can we? We just got to get them back. We just got to fight with other women and, and this and that. All that dumb ass childish shit. It's getting you nowhere, man. When men do you wrong, walk off, leave. Because if you start, to, you uh, what's happening is a lot of times, see, what happens is a lot of, uh, she, let's say a woman deals with a bad men. You know what I mean? Then she comes across a good one. She automatically by default thinks this guy's bad. And then she does him bad. Then he might end up becoming a bad guy. And it just keeps going on and on and on. Same thing, vice versa. Same thing, vice versa, man. A lot of times these women come across good men, right? And they by default think these men are bad, just like the other 100,000 that they was fucking talking to in their phones, man. And then you got men that are hurting. Guess what? If you're a woman, listen closely. If you are a woman, open your fucking ears and listen closely. You got a lot of men that wanted to be a good guy, right? But some, some of your female counterparts, you know, I did them wrong, so guess what? Now that they come across you, you could be that good woman like I just said about the good man, and now he's doing you wrong. And the same women y'all take up for the, the reason for that. It's not about gender, man. When y'all realize it's not about gender, it'll make so much more sense. But if y'all want to keep fighting and, and hating each other and separating from each other, you're doing the devil's work. We're going to be extinct. Keep this shit up. There will be no more people. Because all women and men do is fight and, and hurt each other and shit, man. Hey, man. As a woman, do not suffer for these other women's behavior, man. A lot of men don't want to go on no date because of other women. A lot of men don't want to fucking be the nice guy because they see a bunch of other women reject the nice guy and give me this guy that gives no fuck about him. And unfortunately, you as a good woman, if you come across these type of men, you might like one and you're probably going to get burned. That's just the sad reality of it, man. Then you got women and male, male and females trying to be players, man. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, attention's greater than love to these motherfuckers, man. They don't know what it's like to be loved. That's why they like multiple motherfuckers, man. If you actually have been in a relationship with somebody, you was happy and it was real, you know that it's better than having a whole bunch of motherfuckers. The only way you think it is better because you never experienced it. Or you're just selfish and you have a problem. It's one or the other. Either you never really experienced love like that, right? Or you just don't love yourself or you don't love nobody, which is the same as, because if you love yourself, by default, you're going to love people. But if you don't love yourself, by default, you're, you're not going to love people. You don't give a fuck about nobody else because you don't care about yourself. You cannot tell me. I don't give a fuck what no man say. I will say it in front of all, every last man that exists right now. Like if I, if I had the opportunity to make myself hypothetically show up in front of every man on earth, I would say one woman is better than a whole bunch of pussy to every last one. And I wouldn't care if they say, ah, he's gay or whatever. I don't give a fuck what they say. 
Because I care about what God says. I'm not dumb. There's a reason why there's STDs. Consequences, motherfucker. You do wrong, there's consequences waiting for you. Child support, all that. But men don't want to tell other men these things, man. They just want to say wear a rubber and, and everybody going to dodge the bullet. Then that means why, why, well, why do motherfuckers get burned? And I'm not just talking about burned that way. I'm talking about burned in life. For taking taking that road of I'm gonna fuck with a whole bunch of women, and the, one of the even if you don't get burned or you don't uh, do if you don't run across women who do you wrong, nine times out of ten, in order to fuck a whole bunch of women, you're gonna be doing them wrong. You're gonna be playing with their feelings and all that shit. Not only that, by default, you're gonna be playing with people's feelings, which is karma coming for you, and you're sacrificing the greatness of you. You don't have enough time to play with a whole bunch of women. You cannot convince me that you do. I know better. I barely have time to sleep. But you want to convince me that you have time to have all these women? You're a liar. You ain't fooling nobody, man. I can't, I can't sacrifice that. I can't sacrifice greatness to talk to a whole bunch of women. Now, one woman that's different, like one great-ass woman, that's why I tell men this. Find you a great-ass woman. But y'all don't want to do that. And since they don't want to do that, if you're a good man and you wonder why are women this way, where's all the good women and all this, a lot of them have been defiled. You, you are, if you're a woman, you wonder where's all the good men at? Why don't they want to do this? Why don't they want to do that? Because a lot of these women have defiled these men. Who do I mean by defiled? They basically made them cold-hearted when it comes to the opposite gender because of playing the dumbass game. You lose when you play the game. I don't give a fuck how good you play it. You can't play it good enough not to uh, be affected by it. You might play the person, but you play yourself too. Because karma's coming. You can't play God. You can't play God, dog. And I'm not here, I'm not on this video saying I'm some perfect angel that never done nothing wrong in life. But all I'm saying is this, you can't play God. You can play the man, you can play the woman, all the fuck you want. You are not playing God, dog. Consequences is coming at your doorstep, man. And that's what I keep telling people, man. But it all boils down to the women and like, let's just say this. Why do women flake? Why do they lie? Why do they play games? Why do they talk to 10,000 men? I got the biggest answer for you, men. So if you're a man asking that, the number one answer to that is men. That's why she does it. So don't suffer for them. If you're a woman, why do men lie? Why do they cheat? Why do they want to sleep with a bunch of women? Why do they do this and this and this and this? Women, that's why. That's why. You are a woman and other women have made this motherfucker act. Be this way towards women. Same thing, vice versa. Motherfuckers ain't looking for no fucking love, man. They looking for benefits, man, and to be worshipped. Because to them, we live in an era where it's better it, it's better to be worshipped by a whole bunch of motherfuckers as if I'm their God instead of being a king and queen to each other. So in other words, motherfuckers see it like this. Why be a king or queen to a king or queen when I could be a God to a whole bunch of motherfuckers that just bow down and worship me? And I can get this from him, and I can get weed from him, and I can get a ride from him, and attention from him or her. I can sleep with this one and get money from that one. Uh, come and get food, you know what I'm saying? It goes on and on. So by default, when these women are getting done wrong by these men, and you come, here you come, Mr. Nice Guy, trying to really, you really trying to find somebody and shit. Guess what's gonna happen, man? Nine times, unless she's a nice one, a good woman too. But a lot of times, even good women get to the point that they done like, man, fuck it, I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the bad girl because they win, and, and the good girl gets shitted on. So a lot of good women go bad. But like Phil, I was saying, you the good guy, you coming, trying to get, trying to uh, show a woman different and shit. It's too late, man. Her heart's her heart's dark, dog. Satan got her, bro. It's over. It's over, man. She already ha looks a certain way when it comes towards men. And not only that, she feels like, well, why should I commit to him when last time I committed to a guy I got played? So fuck that. I'm just going to have multiple men. You hear it all the time. What are women saying? 
I'm going to have a multiple men because men do it. It's exactly what they say. So I'm not suffering for them motherfuckers, man. And neither should you. If you a good dude, you should not suffer for them. You're not the one dogging these women. So you're going to have to pull yourself the fuck back. You're going to have to peel back. You know what I'm saying? And, and, to, and you're going to have to really analyze what woman is really being genuine. You will know. You'll know, man. And a lot of them say they better at cheating and all this shit. No, they not. If you ground, if you really got good intentions and, and, and you really believe in God, he'll show, he'll expose when a woman's cheating on you. She can try to hide all the fuck she wants to, but she can't hide God. No, you cannot. See, they can play the game, but you can't play God. That's the thing. If God said, man, he's a good one. He's trying to do everything for this woman. She's foul. I'm going to expose her. You best believe God's going to expose that. No matter how sneaky she thinks she is. They not that sneaky. Plus, you just gotta know what to look for when a woman cheats. They not better cheaters. And y'all women, man. A lot of y'all, man, y'all y'all done gave up and just said, fuck it. You know what I mean? Um, I guess all men, I guess you gotta share all men. There's not one man that, that doesn't cheat. The devil's alive, man. Y'all, y'all are literally convinced that this is the best you can get. It's sad, man. And, and and what makes it even worse, nine times out of ten, the guys that they really are attracted to are bad guys. Why why is this? Because usually when men, when I say bad guys, bad for women. Bad to be in relationships with, whatever. Why are they so good? Why are they so attracted to women? Why I think, number one, the devil, he rewards you for doing, he know you want to do that woman wrong, right? That's number one. Number two, because they deal with so many women, they're very good at being attractive. Because attractive ain't just looks. Like, you can look at my face and see I'm not ugly, right? But a, a, to a lot of women, this video right here is unattractive to them. Because I'm not talking about, what you, what's up, I'm over here kicking it, pull up. I'm not doing all that. You see what I'm saying? I'm not coming with that energy. Only, only women that are in the right mind what might see this video and be like, man, that's some, I like that. I like what he's saying because her mind's right. But if her mind's not right, you best believe she she probably already logged off this video. She already did. Plus, it probably offended her because I'm telling the truth about how they move. Not just them, men too, but hey, if she's a woman watching or a man. Even a man, if he sees this video, he got a problem with it. Fuck that nigga, man. I've been hip to this shit. I've been hip to the fact that if you are not careful, you will suffer for the behavior of these other men. Fuck that. And the same thing with y'all women. A lot of y'all don't even realize it. And how do I know you don't realize it? Because you constantly take up for all women. You hear the word woman and you, your alarm go off like, oh, he talking about women. Fuck that. I got, you know what I mean? Come on, man. You know women are guilty. So why would you take up for them all? You doing yourself a disfavor. You don't realize the effect that it's having on you. You want to know why men don't want to cooperate. But then I then when somebody pointed out, you get offended because of the word woman. It makes no sense. Do not play the game, man. A lot of people, what they're going to do is, they ain't hit you up in a while, they're going to hit you up. You know what I mean? See if you still like them. A lot of, a lot of stupid shit they do, man. Once somebody shows you who they are, believe it. Do not go back to believing whatever you thought before they showed you. Don't do it. And don't play this game of, well, well, women do it, so I'm going to have a whole bunch of, I'm a, yeah, women have a whole bunch of men, so I'm going to have a whole bunch of women. Nah, I ain't doing that. I'm just going to cut your ass off. Why the fuck would I stoop to your level? Because you want to fuck with everybody, fuck everybody in the city, right? Why do why I want to stoop to that level? I don't think so. You gotta be content to be alone. That, especially y'all women, you got to be content to be alone. That's the only way you're gonna find the right man. Because if not, you're gonna panic, you're gonna be, uh, lose patience, all type of shit. And, and you just, you're gonna be eager to fuck with anybody. Cause you're vulnerable. Cause you want love and you deserve it if you're a good woman. But you, unfortunately, you have to fish. You really have to weed, you really have to scope out men. You can't just go by whatever one you like the most and let me just 
roll the fucking dice and hope to God that it's right. You can't do that, man. Most of these men ain't on shit because women ain't on shit. Most of these women ain't on shit because men ain't on shit. And I'm telling y'all right now, do not suffer for these people, man. The best thing you can do is unplug from the fucking circus and stay focused on loving yourself and your, your family and just try to get close to God, man. What else can you do? You can't lose with, without, you can't lose with, uh, with God, man. Everybody want this great woman or man. I'm telling you, you got to go through God to get it. You, if there's no other way. You can go back to the devil and see what he got to offer. We already know what that is, right? Yeah, we already been there. Y'all want to go back down that road again? Not I. I'm trying to get married one time. <laughs> That's it. Ain't no two, three, unless, uh, unless, you know, she died, God forbid, but whatever. You know what I mean? Ain't no, ain't no none of that. Ain't no going around, sleeping around with everybody. Why would I want to join that circus? I don't want to relive 15 years old again. That's what that seemed like to me. It seemed like a bunch of grown kids still sleeping around with each other and shit instead of taking life serious. You meet this one, you think that they real and they all about you. Next thing you know, she talking to him or he's talking to her. Motherfuckers wonder why why every time you turn around, a motherfucker think they got somebody real, and next thing you know, they talking to somebody and fucking somebody else. Because everybody is playing everybody, man. Because everybody's been played. But instead of them going the right route, they done got down and dirty with it. Their hearts done got cold. Which my heart got cold. My heart is cold to the fact that of uh, bullshit. That's what my heart's cold to. My heart is not cold towards women because I know why women are doing it. They're doing it because of men. And I'm not even mad at men for their bullshit, but I'm going to call it out. I'm gonna call out the bullshit women and men do so I can try to wake up the good women and men so the good women and men will only fuck with each other and let these other motherfuckers stay over there somewhere and defile themselves. They don't, they don't deserve none of y'all good women and men. None of y'all. Let them motherfuckers stay over there and play with each other and fuck each other and, and do all the dumb shit they do over there with them. But the problem is they mix it with us. When I say us, I'm not saying that we're better people and they're bad people, but when it comes to taking uh, relationships serious, not playing with people's minds and, and, and all that bullshit, that's what I mean by good and bad. Because you could be a so-called bad boy, but be a loyal motherfucker, I guess. It's possible. He could, he could find a woman he really liked, right? He could, he could be a dope boy and still love this woman and not cheat. Nobody's saying that. But when I say good woman or man, I mean a motherfucker that really fucking with you versus a motherfucker that's just fucking with you, if you get what I'm saying. You know, the motherfucker that tell you they like you and then she get on her phone and 20,000 motherfuckers is in her phone she talking to too. Or a man that say he really like you and this and that and he's fucking other women and shit. Y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. Let these people stay over there somewhere far away from you. Because I'm telling y'all, man, you're going to be a victim to these motherfuckers, man. They can ruin your life, man. If you're a good woman or man, that means you're on your purpose. That's part of being a good woman. Good woman and man. You're on your purpose. You're on your shit. You're trying to be somewhere. Go somewhere in life. But you're going to let one of these motherfuckers destroy your shit, man. Because you feel sorry for them or some dumb shit like that. Or you got some type of attraction to them. Or you're believing their lies. That's why you can't like somebody that quickly, man. Because everybody gonna tell you what you wanna hear to butter your fucking head up. But eventually, if it's fake and it's bullshit, eventually they'll get tired of playing that act. Especially if there's no benefit for it. Once they realize, hey, there's no benefit in this shit. Shit, that shit can happen 10 years later. But all in all, how will you really even know? All these snakes in the grass, how the fuck are you supposed to really know? You don't know. That's the problem. But God knows. Lean not on your own understanding, man. It's going to take some prayer in this mug. You're going to have to pray a little bit about this. If that, that's, if you, that's what you want. Because a lot of y'all claim, I want a woman, I want a wife, I want a husband. No, you don't. Your actions don't speak it, man. 
because you wouldn't be out sleeping with everybody. It's impossible, man. That would not be in your makeup. It's not in my makeup to sleep with this, with this, with this one, and this one. It sounds good on paper, man. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a man, right? It sounds good on paper to fuck this one, this one, and this one. But it's not the it's not ideally, it's not me. It's not in my makeup, man. That's not what my that's not what I desire. I don't desire to put my private in something that him and him and him did. Man, fuck that, man. I don't know if y'all understand the magnitude of when you care about somebody and you find out a motherfucker to fuck with somebody else. I learned this shit a long time ago. Fuck that shit. That's why I don't cheat. And that's why I don't want to be with no cheater. You put all your blood, sweat, and tears in that shit. You might even put a kid, you might even have a kid with a motherfucker and find out that it was just a, a big ass lie, basically. And now you stuck with this lying motherfucker for the rest of your life because you got a kid with him. That's why I preach, get married before you have kids. Ain't nobody doing it though. Everybody wanna move fast and everybody wanna move careless. Understand everybody's not gonna move like you. If you're a good woman, that means you don't move careless. That means you think about things. You don't just jump out the fucking window. You know what I'm saying? You actually care about your life and your decisions, right? So it's impossible for you to just have a kid by somebody you don't even know and all this other crazy ass shit people out here doing, man. And I'm not trying to sound like I'm better or or it, or good women and men or you better and all this. Man, I'm not trying to down anybody. I'm just saying that, that you have to watch out for people like this because they're out here. They don't care. Some people do not care. They're broken, man. They're defiled. They do not care. You can have a woman that's burning. She don't care if she burns you. How the hell you think somebody burns somebody else? It's more than likely they know they burn it. I don't see how they couldn't. And they just go around burning everybody else. I don't care about myself. I'm going to burn him. Or I'm going to burn her. Even worse, some men, I got a kid, um, I don't take care of my kid. But if we had one together, I, I definitely would take care of it and women fall for it. I'm going to change him. You see it dead, the writing on the motherfucking wall, it says he doesn't take care of his kid, but a woman is okay with that. And, and, and go get with him and try to have a kid with him and all that. Because she thinks she's different. She's better. Or she can change him or some dumb ass shit. A woman shouldn't even respect a man, or even a man, shouldn't even respect or even deal with a woman or man that doesn't put their kids priority. How could you? If people don't care about their own kids, man, you think they gonna care about you? Or you think it's gonna be different if you had a kid with them? That's one of the best things I will say about a woman who has kids or a kid. At least you can see kind of like, mm, if I had a kid with her, I think I'm good. Or hell nah. nah. I can't have a kid with this one. Look what she's doing already. Or look what he's doing already. But people don't do that, do they? I know it's off topic of playing the game, but it's still playing the game. It's still a game. You're willing to play the dumbass game of Get with a, uh, get with somebody and be a dumbass. That's the game you play. You playing a fool. <laughs> That's what game you playing. And it's not funny, but it's the truth, man. You gotta take this shit seriously, man. You can't take this as a joke. It's too easy for women and men to talk to other women and men, man. And if they are not on that vibe of, I just want one woman. I know everybody going to come at you with that. Everybody and their mama going to come at you with it. I just want something real. I only want one woman or man. Okay, well, let, let them show in time that it's true. Because most people are capping out here. If they not, then what is all this other shit I see? 
What's all this lying and cheating and all this other shit I see? If, if everybody wants one woman and everybody, I mean everybody and their mama only wants something real, then why ain't everybody just happy and shit? Why I see all this other shit going on? Why every time I turn around, she was just flirting with me, she went over there and flirted with him. X, you're off. Can't fuck with you. I don't even want to fuck you. Like, a lot of men be like, well, I'll still fuck her though. Nope, I don't even want to fuck you. My dick too good for that. I, I, I don't want to put my dick in that. That's how you got to think as a man. If you're a man that really respect yourself, because most women do. I ain't going to say most, but a lot of women do think that way, believe it or not. If they see you flirting with another woman, they probably won't want to fuck with you. But then you got some on the other hand that they want to fuck with you even more. But I get it. But see, this thing going on with this man shit, you know, men are still under the, 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 the delusion that it's okay to fuck anything. That says a lot about you, dog. Because think about it. What do you think when when a woman, if, a, if it was a woman just fucking anything? How would you feel about that woman? What makes you different? It's still a body. It's still the same uh, possible chances of STDs. What's the difference? Go put your fucking private in the fucking trash can, man. That's basically what you're doing. You don't know what the fuck you, you're putting your shit in. But that's okay because you wore a rubber. She's still sweating and shit on you, man. What the fuck wrong with motherfuckers, man? But people don't care. That's the problem. Now that I think about it, when you don't care about yourself, you make decisions like that. You'll stay with somebody that's cheating on you and beating on you and shit. Or you're okay that you don't care if she's talking to other. I don't care if she talk who she talk to. As long as she suck and fuck me, that's all I care about. I don't think so. Not if you value yourself, I don't think so. You should be in the mindset that, you know what? I'm only dealing with top-notch females that only deal with one man at a time. Because that makes a woman value. Because she values herself. She ain't just out fucking with everybody like that. That's the ones you wanna fuck with, man. Why the fuck you wanna fuck with this, this, the ones that flirt with every fucking body? You're nothing to them. They don't value you. They're just playing the game and they're using you for whatever they can get. They don't even love themselves. If a woman loves herself, no way she's out fucking with a bunch of men. No way. It's not, it's not possible. If a man loves himself, there's no way. Now, before I before I really knew what self-love was, yeah, I guess it didn't matter. Let's get some hoes off. Because you don't know what self-love is. But once you really know, you're not gonna say, well, I'm a man, so it's okay for me to fuck old girl that just fuck old dude that might have herpes on his dick. It's okay, because I'm a man. You gotta be a fool, man. It's not okay. Not only just STDs, but if you have a kid by her. You don't even like this woman, but you're saying, hey, oh, I'll just fuck her because I want a nut. If you get her pregnant, then what? But if it was a woman that I actually liked and I got her pregnant, I could deal with that. Even if we don't be together, it don't matter. I actually like the girl. It's a little different than just fucking something. That was just a nut. Motherfuckers sleeping with crackheads and shit, then you get her pregnant. It's crazy, man. But men are telling other men, it don't matter, you're a man, dog. You're gay if you don't fuck a whole bunch of women. You're gay if you don't consider that that girl might have fucked that dude with herpes. That makes you gay, though. Because you don't want to fuck with it and touch it. Man, you're, you're supposed to be a fucking king, man. And that's the only way you're really going to attract a queen, man. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm not talking about women who say they queens and they not. I'm talking about real queen women. Women who really value themselves. And it ain't just about no damn looks that make you a fucking queen. Get it out your mind. We talking about all across the board, top-notch females that value themselves. And ain't putting up with this men, these men bullshit. That's why they're not getting ran through like that. They might slip up here and there and fuck with the wrong motherfucker. But they out as soon as they see it. So by default, it gives them a lot less back body count. Plus they have self, uh, what do you call it? Self-esteem and shit, so they're not so quick to, let me get another boyfriend every fucking week. 
All that leads to is more bodies on that woman. More and more and more. She can't be alone. Oh, I can't be alone. A real queen is, damn, I'm hurt. I'm alone. Let me start this project, though, for now. Get my mind off of men for a little while. She might even turn her whole fucking DM off. She don't even want to fuck with nobody for a while. But y'all not ready for that type of talk, though. And then when men do this, what do, what do women think? Oh, nobody wants this guy. Nah, maybe he just on his king shit. You know what? Everybody playing games? Man, I'm disconnected from this shit, man. I'm about to get my money right now. If God got something for me, it'll happen. I ain't worried about this. You can have that shit, Satan. Because that's what it is. All Satan do is give you counterfeit shit and make you think that it's a blessing from God and you get played every time. That's why I tell y'all, Watch how you attract people. Because how you attract people is the telling story of why they really fuck with you. That's facts. That's facts, man. I'm not saying that um, a woman shouldn't be attracted because you're getting money. She shouldn't be attracted because you look good and all these things. Yeah, all those things matter, but how did you attract her? Was you going out your way, breaking your fucking neck and doing magic tricks? Or was she, uh, was she just reciprocating just as much? See, a lot of y'all men, what you're doing is you're falling under that, you're falling into that trap of, I got to impress the girl. I'm, I'm a man. I'm a man. I got to show her that I, uh, I care and all this and all that. You know how many motherfuckers have shown that they care? A lot of these women, man, they just don't want no man. They don't really want a man. They want to use men. Every day she sees, a, I mean, I ain't going to say every day, but you best believe that she has had a lot of good men trying to do the same thing you did and she did the same thing to them because that's not what she's looking for she ain't looking for love same thing with women same thing with women what do they try to do they try to change the man he just ain't had real love yet that's exactly what they say all the time he don't know what it feel like to be loved that's cat everybody experienced some type of love man to a certain degree anyway High school, somewhere, somewhere along the line, he has had somebody that cared about him. Stop the cap. They want you to, they want, they got, men want women to believe that I'm, I'm a decent looking guy. I got money and all this and all that. I got a lot of free time because I sell drugs or whatever. But I can't find a good woman. <laughs> you believe that that motherfucker hasn't found one good woman. That's a cap. It's game, man. It's game. And the same thing with the women are doing. I can't find a good man, cat. All that is is come play with me. I'm lying to you saying that I can't find a good man so I can pre uh, present myself as somebody looking for a good man so you could be a good little woman or male slave and be that good man to me. And I'm going to play your ass just like I do the rest. Everybody out here can find a good woman or man. Don't believe that at all. The question is, do they really want one? And sometimes they want one. I give y'all this. Sometimes people want one, but the ones they want don't want them or, or they're not good men and women. Because you could be somebody that want a good woman and man or man but you like bad women and men and you're not gonna get one. That ha That's happening a lot. A lot of men want a wife, but what is their type of wife? She gotta be a supermodel, she don't look like a supermodel. I'm gonna pass up all these good women over here, a hundred good women over here that still look good, might I add, but you know what, they just don't look like this supermodel fantasy uh, fake person that I got in my head, so I'm just gonna keep looking. Same thing with these women. He don't look like that guy on that rap video. So he can't be the good man I'm looking for in my life. It's got to be something better. Or she's got so many motherfuckers in her phone, she don't know how to pick. But that's what she gets for biting that apple of, you know, entertaining a bunch of men at once. Instead of dealing with one here, maybe two or three here to see who, who she should pick. Nah, that wasn't enough. I got to entertain everybody because I'm that bad bitch. You know what I mean? I'm the, I'm the shit everybody want me. And that's what she, she digs her own grave, man. 
She entertains way too many people. And there's a good one in there, but how you gonna pick? How you gonna know? How you even gonna reciprocate the energy to know? You can't. You're you're entertaining this one and this one and this one. Hypothetically, say she talked to the good God for two days, right? And then guess what? Satan. Oh no, we can't have that. Nah, Tuan's good. He'll never hurt that girl. Let me let me send five of these other guys over here. Let me go ahead and send five to her phone. Then she starts to think, no, I don't think I'm ready to settle down yet. You know what I mean? His eyebrow looks a little bit better than Tuan's. Let me let me pick him. I think I want to keep searching a little bit more. This is what they do. And they, it's always gonna happen. Because you can't be. Because anytime you about to get blessed by God, Satan's going to try to come and stop that, man. Anytime. Anytime, dog. He has to. He has no choice. Because he doesn't want you with somebody that God wants you to be with. He doesn't want that. He can't use people. The devil cannot use people when people are good to each other. If we was all good to each other and no man and woman did nothing wrong, how could the devil use anybody to hurt anybody? He can't. So he has to use people to hurt people. This is why a lot of times good somebody that's good for you, you're not attracted to. You, I mean, you are attracted to him, but you can't put your finger on it. Like, why don't I like this motherfucker? This motherfucker is perfect. Why don't I like him? But why do I like this dummy that he does nothing for me? Because of it, a lot of it is your imprint. A lot of it is attraction. I'll give you that. But let's just say you really didn't know either one. But for some reason, you like the so-called, so-called, bad boy and this other guy that wanted to study books or something something about you just don't like you know what i mean and men do it too it's something about that woman that doesn't want to show all her body and she's reading that book and or, or she goes home and takes care of her kids versus the one in the club that wants to pop bottles talk about sex and all that all the time it's something about that one that we want to deal with and not that one it's evil is what the fuck it is and you're going to hang yourself. That's what you're going to do. I promise you. All you men that love to point the finger at women and say they need the truth. It's because the, the niggas you pick and the men you pick. It's the same thing with you men. You pick the wrong woman, your ass getting burned too. You think women don't got game, you idiot? Women got more game than men. That And the reason why is because men don't think women have game. <laughs> That's the biggest reason. Men do not think women have game. They think women are dumb, man. That's why they got more game than y'all dummies. And I hate to call y'all dummies because you're dumb when it comes to women. You really are. You're willing to stand in line. You don't think they got game. You know what I mean? Um, you think it's all about what a woman looks like. It, 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 it The list goes on and on. Anyways, do not play games with people, man. And, and if people play games with, with you or try to, just leave them alone. Don't don't feel no type of way. Don't don't try to get back at them. None of that. Just leave them alone and and move about your life. And just understand that if they was the right one, they would have never been playing games with you, right? Plus, maybe they li did like you because some people like you and they want to play games. I I gotta make him earn me or her earn me or or all this whatever. They read a book and this and that. You know what I mean? Either way, that's childish. So either way. If they don't like you or they, they act like a child, either way, well, I got to leave you alone, right? You have to do this, man. But my um, more of this whole story is men and women are suffering because of men and women. Like, like you, women out here are suffering when it comes to men because of what other women are doing to, with, to men. So if you wonder, before I get off here, if you ever wonder... Like, why don't men want to act right? What the fuck is wrong with these motherfuckers? It's your females that are doing this. Not you, maybe. You might be a great woman. But the other ones, the other ones, the female players and shit making men cold-hearted towards women. And same thing vice versa with y'all men. Why are women doing this? Why did it, Why does she got 100,000 men in her phone lined up? And all this and all that. It's because men. Somewhere down the line, some men did this to her. So she said, I'm not doing this no more. I'm not being, I'm not trying to find one man. I'm going to be the player. I'm going to be the male player. And that's what's going on. And all I got to say to you good women and men, or, you know, if you consider yourself a woman or man trying to be real with somebody and find something real, just understand that a lot of people out here 
are on that um they're on that um evil trip their hearts are black you know what i mean their hearts are when it comes to women and men they're playing the game basically and you don't deserve that you don't deserve to suffer because of what other people have done you see what i'm saying and that's all i really gotta say man until the next one i'm gonna holler at y'all later man and if you are a good woman or man man please do not do not um suffer for what other people have done in other words i don't get mad at women for what they do because i'm a man speaking from that perspective i don't get mad at women for what they do if they want to talk to a thousand men and they phone and i understand why they're doing that i know it's because of other men i just le i just get away from it see i'm not gonna play the game i'm not gonna act like i'm dumb and still try to sleep with none of that none of that i just leave it alone period because a lot of men what they'll do is they'll play dumb i'm gonna play dumb and act like I don't know, and then I'm going to sleep with her. I'm not doing none of that. If I see games, I'll just get away from it. And that's what you should do too, you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, you know why these women are doing men dirty and shit? I know it's because of men, and I know that men ain't going to change. Men are going to keep doing what they're doing. So the only way to win is to go through God. If you want somebody special, you just got to do what's right so you can get good karma. God will, God will look out for you. But if you want to do wrong and play the game, I'm telling you what's going to happen, dog. You're going to get played too. Nobody plays this game without playing themselves. They, they might play other people. You know what I'm saying? But you play yourself when you play the game. Y'all understand that? Okay. Uh, Appreciate it. Yes. Hey, Def. Uh, Def. Um, after you drop the priority, you go up there and get the death. I can. Yep. You're allowed to get the death. I'm out of here, fuel. man. It's not the fuel. All right. Not my That's rules. stupid. I don't make this shit up. I'm going to let y'all go, man. Okay. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but I think I said enough on it. But I just want y'all to know that how women are towards men, right? is a direct result of how men are towards women and how women are towards no how men are towards women is a direct result of how women are towards men basically but you do have good ones right and that's what you got to find you got to find the good women and men good women and men need to start coming together more and more instead of dealing with the other people that don't want to be good women and men it's not that the bad women and men aren't capable of being good women and men they don't choose to be they choose to be a player she chooses to ha 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 i got 20 hundred men in my phone i'm gonna play them all because i'm bored she chooses to do that she could pick one good guy and be a good woman if she wants she don't want to do it so fuck her same thing with the men you you out your mind if you think men can't be faithful they choose not to be they can be it's not incapable women really believe men are incapable of being faithful no they not it's a choice if you be like, man, I don't want to hurt my woman because I know how it feels to be hurt. Plus, I love my woman. I want to sleep with my woman. I want to have sex with my woman. I don't want to sleep with this woman. I don't know. She could have fucked a herpes dick last night. I don't know. You know what I mean? Straight up. I'm just being honest with y'all. But that's what's going on, y'all, in a nutshell, basically. You know, I hated to make it longer than what it had to be. It's all boiling down to men doing women wrong. So women start to do men wrong and then vice versa. That's all it is. You know what I mean? And that's what you're dealing with. So get the fuck up out that circus. You know what I mean? And don't suffer for what they're doing if you're a good woman and man. That's all I got to say. Y'all have a great day. And uh, I don't know what else to say, man. I'm glad I'm back, though. That's for sure. Hey!